For those of you that think that Powerboat Television Crew only shoots when it's warm in the summertime, you would not be correct. It's early February. It was minus 19 when I got up. We're here at Cross Town Engines, and you might wonder, why aren't we here in the summer when it's warm? Well, these guys are way too busy to film and talk in the summer. Crosstown Engine's reputation for high-quality engine rebuilding is well-known. A few folks with poker run type boats have asked us about high-performance engines. That's where their passion really started. Well, my dad started in 1965, uh, opened up a shop, basically doing everything, doing, you know, brake jobs and changing batteries and radiators, and eventually started doing engines and got involved in racing all the time. He wanted to go fast. And... Tell us a little bit about the history of the racing side of the business. Well, here's a photo of my dad back in 1970. That's a Chevy 2. He chopped the top off of it, built a small block for it. I think he ran like 13 seconds at the time. He asked me, he said, do you want to drive the race car? And I said, yeah, I want to drive the race car, of course. I grew up around racing, so I, I felt it was my turn to drive. So you're not just an engine builder, you're a drag racer. Yes, drag racing, yeah. It's my first love, for sure. We actually ran the, the Trans Am that we have here. We won five national events in IHRA, and in 1994, we won the championship in Bristol, Tennessee. First Canadian car to win the championship. No way. And you guys built all those engines. We built all the engines for that, yeah. How has that changed how Crosstown builds an engine? Well, let me show you over here, come here. All right, cool. These are connecting rods, and. My first job being in the shop was resizing connecting rods. So my dad got me to start cutting the rods and start machining them. And the manufacturer of these connecting rods would give us eight tenths to work with a range. He would make me get these rods within four to five tenths. Four to five tenths of a thou? Four to five tenths of a thou. And now, quite honestly, I get them within two tenths. I get better load capacity, better bearing crush. Even when I buy brand new connecting rods, I take them out of the box. The first thing I do is I check the torque and I check the size on it right away. Checking every rod might sound excessive, but it is just one example of how serious Crosstown is about their engine specs. Now, if you're looking for more power for your boat, Crosstown has a number of options and stages available depending on your budget. What have we got here? Well, what we've got here is an 8.1 Mercury Marine that's been brought in from one of our customers. It's an old tired engine, he wanted to get it rebuilt. During the rebuild process, he wanted to increase the power on it. And one of the things that we do in the rebuild is change the camshaft profile. How much power stock, 385? 385, yeah. And what's this camshaft worth roughly in horsepower, do you think? We're gonna probably pick up about 20, 25 horsepower, not just from the camshaft, but we're gonna do other things. I know from my memory, rebuilding an 8.1 from you guys is about $7,500? Yes. How much more to get that 25 horsepower bump? It's about $1,000 more. What's the next stage? Where do we go from there? Second stage is we start changing components in the engine. This is your regular 330 peanut port sonar head design. And here is your high-end performance uh, sonar head. As you can see, it's got a big exhaust port. You can see the difference in the size of the intake runner here. A lot bigger. And we're able to run a bigger valve on this and a lot more efficient sonar head here. But one of the biggest limitations for marine engine power is fuel. Fuel is very important because most marinas you can only get an 87 or 91 octane. We've got to keep the compression low, and the cam profile has got to coincide with the actual compression of the engine. So what if I don't have an engine to start with or it's just too far gone? We got engines. We got crate motors right here. Jimmy! But not regular crate engine. Crosstown crate engine. Crosstown crate engine. Is that what this is here? That's what we got here. This is one of our signature packages. It's 400 cubic inches, aluminum cylinder heads, hydraulic roller camshaft, wow. ready to rock. Power? 400 plus. What's one of the advantages of considering a crate package as opposed to rebuilding your own engine? Well, you don't have to worry about if your old engine's cracked, inefficiency of the old heads. We have all brand new cylinder heads, brand new block combinations, so everything's new. What else have you got here you can tell us about? This is our 490 cubic inch engine. Now, well, this was a 330 horse 454. That used to make 330 horsepower and now makes how much? Mix 425. We used the same block, but we stroked it to 490. Okay. Because there's no replacement for displacement. Gas, diesel, Chevy, Ford, Chrysler. Crosstown can fix them and make them faster if you like. And if you do want crazy, Jim and Lou are happy to accommodate. Aluminum block, aluminum heads, sheet metal intake manifold, custom carburetors. This is purpose built racing hardcore. Wow, and 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower without nitrous, and nitrous will crank it right up another 1,000 horsepower. What are we getting to in the boat side, the marine side? Well, we can get you to 750, 800. I got something in the dyno room right now I can show you. Really? Yeah. Oh, let's go check it out. Let's go. Oh, no way. Yeah, we have 540 cubic inches here. It has high-flowing heads. It's got a hydraulic camshaft in it. 
Good to go. Jeez, how much horsepower? Well, John, it's around 600. That's a good number, because that's about the limit on a normal drive is 600 horse. Yeah, I don't care. I just build horsepower here. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is warm the engine up, get it to operating temperature. OK, these big blocks, they don't like the cold weather that much. They hate it, so we got to warm it up nice. OK, Beat. let's do it. When the engine is cold, you have to watch oil pressure isn't too high before revving it up. You could blow off the oil filter. OK. Ready for a run? Yep. All right, let's see what she makes. Five hundred seventy-seven, five hundred sixty-one pounds of torque at fifty-four hundred. Still not entirely satisfied, Jim wanted to keep going. We gotta go to six hundred horsepower. This is a cross-down engine. Go to six thousand RPM, six hundred horsepower. All right, let's see. Let's get her done. That's awesome. There's no replacement for displacement. Yeah, baby. 600 horse is the limit for most reasonably priced drives. Once you get into 700 horse or more, you are looking at very specialized, very expensive drives. <laughs> 